The mayor of Taunton says she is fining a hotel that is housing migrants $1,000 a day because it is over capacity. The Clarion Hotel is one of several across more than 80 communities in the state that are being used as an emergency shelter. Target 12 investigator Kate Wilkinson has how the capacity problem is impacting migrants. A migrant at the Clarion Hotel tells me off camera that they're living in tight quarters while the state is trying to accommodate an increase in need. In April, Taunton Mayor Shauna O'Connell says she received a phone call from the state that the only hotel in the city was becoming an emergency shelter and migrants were arriving that day. She says about 450 people are staying in that hotel, which is over the capacity limit the city has set for that building. Certificate of occupancy that we have allows for 360 people. She says because the hotel has not provided documentation to show they can handle more people, the city has been finding the hotel since May. We want to make sure that everyone there is safe, that police and fire have the ability um, to respond to emergencies in a safe manner. O'Connell says the state has been paying for a police detail at the hotel after an increase in calls. In Plainville, two hotels are housing migrants, including the Comfort Inn. Residents are collecting donations. A lot of these families don't have anything. So clothing, winter gear uh, for men and women for sizes six months to eight years for children. According to the Executive Office of Housing and Livable Communities, of the more than 20,000 people currently in emergency shelters in the state, a third are new arrivals. National reporting finds many of these migrants are from countries like Haiti fleeing violence. While Massachusetts is the only state in the country to have the right to shelter law, Mayor O'Connell says times have changed since the law was established in 1983. We've got thousands and thousands of people coming into our state and there's nowhere to go. Governor Maura Healey has declared a state of emergency and brought in the National Guard to deal with the problem. She's calling on President Biden to fast track work authorization forms so that these migrants can start working. With the Target 12 investigators, Kate Wilkinson, 12 News.